If you're trying to get into Notion but you're overwhelmed by all the templates out there, this is how I created a simple system for my ADHD brain. I was talking to my friend and she had so many random Notion pages that she completely just forgot about and they're super hard to find. It doesn't need to be that complicated. I'm going to show you how I categorize everything. So the first thing is I have this homepage that I actually never reference and I'll tell you why in a bit. Basically, I have a database for life categories. If you don't know how to set this up yourself, I do have a template linked in the description below but I divided my life into five different categories and basically my whole life is on Notion because otherwise I would not remember a single thing about my life. The first category is growth and I will go into what that means but let me explain the stuff on this page. There's also an archive and transient notes section and the archive is just all these random templates that looked beautiful but were so complicated that I never used them so I just tossed them in the archive here. You can see it's still there because I feel like I can't delete them. I still want them there in case I go back to it later, but I'm not going to go back to it later. And if I search for it, it'll still be there. This is actually my old homepage. You can see it's like very, very messy and I didn't even use it because it was so complicated. What you want to do is start very simple and then start building up to the complication. The growth section. What I have here is everything to do with personal growth. So I have my therapy reflections, my habit tracking systems where I journal and reflect on my life to live more intentionally and work towards my goals. And I have all of that detail in another video, so make sure to check it out if you want to learn how I stay consistent with my goals using my habits. Now, I also have things that I learned from courses and languages, my finance stuff, which I know there's a finance and career section, but I'll explain in a bit why these two are interlinked. And I also have projects like my side projects with my, well, it was a side project, but then I got laid off and then now this became my full-time thing with my creative business and some other things that I tried. Inside these pages are just random notes. Like you would be surprised how messy it is, but I categorize it like this so that it's easy to go back to and reference when I need to find a page that I haven't looked at in a while. For the career and finance section, you'll notice that I interlinked some pages. So some things I think make sense in both growth and career and finance. That's just how it makes sense for my brain. So I built it this way where I can reference the same pages in these two sections. So you can see with my creator business, I actually created the page in the growth section but then I link to that page in the finance and career section as well and all of my learnings from my work is also here this is the video that made me go viral but I think if you look into it it's actually surprising that sometimes it's just a note like it does not need to be complicated you can turn your notion into something so simple that works for you just let go of these misconceptions that you have about that your notion needs to be super aesthetic or everything needs to be filled out perfectly once you're okay with it being a draft and it being imperfect, you will go so much further. I actually have a bunch of stuff on the side here for pages that I reference very often and that's why I actually never go back to the home page because to access that page I have to click into creativity which is my hobbies, travel and then moving to Australia like that's too much. So instead what I have is just have it on the side here and this is only for pages that I reference very often and these pages have pretty much everything so like you can see there's a sub page. I'm not putting my health insurance stuff under the health section. I'm putting it under moving to Australia because it's like related to this and it's just so messy but I added to it bit by bit. So I literally put the list to pack and then throughout the months I added to that list and then I started adding more stuff as I hopped on calls with tax professionals and health insurance people and my bank and just like everything is just on this page and it's so easy for my brain because I'm like all I have to do is go to this page. Everything else is there. So instead of having it all in separate pages this is so much easier and it you can see it's messy. Same with my creator business. You can see this is such a messy page but it works so well for me because I know where everything is. This is kind of like a reflection of my room. It looks messy but I know where everything is. So all I have to do is check my today, tomorrow, later list every day and I have more details explaining my tracking systems and my goal systems in my course in the description and also in my other videos so be sure to check them out. But basically all I have to do instead of having to keep track of like so many different tabs with all my different tasks, I close all the tabs. I just link the necessary link links or sub pages in Notion here and every day I have one simple task to check this page. Everything else goes from there. And that helps me get started so much because every day when you wake up and it's like one thing to do, just check this page, it makes it a lot easier to get started than just getting overwhelmed and being like, I have to do this, this, and this. I don't know where to start. But for me, I'm like, no, I just check this page. So simple and it works so well, even though it looks very messy. So that was growth and finance. I do have another video about how I track my financial goals. So like here's an example of everything that I have. All the templates and tutorials are 
are in my other video so make sure to check that out the creativity section i actually don't use this much so this is all about my different hobbies i started a 30-day challenge where i do a new skill every single month to kind of have a curriculum for myself because otherwise i won't get things done and this is just where i plan everything and you can see like even in these pages i add to it week by week and then sometimes i don't even go back to these pages it's just random links and screenshots for the month that i did sewing it's straight up just random links and a reference and this reference is actually so helpful so you can see now hopefully everything is a draft it doesn't need to be perfect my notion looks very aesthetic but everything in these pages it's kind of like a mess that's tucked away how did you get in there <laughs> You're messy. So with the health section, again, everything is very messy. I'm just dumping a bunch of links here. And like, for example, if I am doing a marathon training plan, I will actually make a new page for it. And then when that's done, I drag it into old training plans. So it's still tidy and just like tucked out of the way. Now for my social section, this is everything to do with relationships. This is where I plan gifts and things for other people, for my relationship, for my friendships. And an example is this murder mystery gift that I made my friend i literally started with just a simple brain dump this is how i always start i just have a brain dump and as i go about it i just add more stuff to the bottom of the page and you can see it's so messy there's so much going on here but it works so well for me that's how i basically made the entire thing in like 35 hours it was a big project the story had a lot of twists and i had to make all the puzzles and stuff but this notion page was my point of reference and you can see it's so messy but it works for my brain don't feel pressure to make Make a beautiful notion page that's super aesthetic like mine is messy and it works very well so once you have that mindset change i think you will finally be able to unlock creating a notion system that actually works for you and your brain instead of just copying templates and trying so hard to make something work for you but it doesn't really work for you and then you feel like a failure because i feel like for adhd people it's you try so hard to be neurotypical you're like why can't i just put away my laundry you know it's so easy for other people like why do i have to leave it move it from my bed to my chair to back to my bed it's like a whole thing but it's like no you can make a system that works well for you you just have to know yourself well and let go of that idea of wanting to be just like everybody else or like normal and neurotypical so that is the social category i do have these reflection pages like this is my poo count my cry count and that has been really good i have tutorial videos on all of this so you can see like everything that i reference often i just have it on the side here and maybe every quarter so every three months i will take a look at this and be like okay i'm not using these pages much anymore and then remove them from my favorites and then sometimes i'll reorder them so that's all for my notion system today hopefully this was helpful and inspires you to build your own very simple notion second brain that actually works for you instead of overwhelming you i do have a lot more other video tutorials about my system so if you're curious how i use notion to stay consistent with my habits and manage my entire life and business i will link those videos below and you can also check out my course which is all about that stuff plus low-key therapy vibes about how to really understand your life purpose and break out of burnout and feeling overwhelmed so that you can live a life of intention towards your goals that's all for today and i'll see you in the next video bye